Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can grow your YouTube channel to your very first 500 subscribers. As a small YouTuber myself, I know exactly what it takes to grow a YouTube channel because me myself abandoned my own channel after not posting a video in almost five years. All right, so I'm going to give you all my tips and tricks. Uh, if this is your first time ever tuning into my channel or one of my videos, welcome. My name is Roy Award. Feel free to hit that like button right now, entrepreneur, uh, and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can catch all my future videos. With that said, let's get right into growing your YouTube channel and getting your very first 500 subscribers. All right, so let's get into a step-by-step -step plan on you getting your very first 500 YouTube subscribers. As you can see, this is a small screenshot of my YouTube channel before I got serious with it. Uh, again, this very same channel that you're watching, I abandoned for almost five years. And in 2020, I got serious and cleaning up my channel and uploading content uh, so that I could start growing my channel. And I was only at 67 subscribers. So pay attention, you guys. Uh, put away your phone, put away any type of distractions. I want you guys to take notes. I have six valuable tips that I want to share with you guys that will get the ball rolling on your channel. This will build momentum and this will start getting you guys more engagement, more subscribers. All right. So pay very close attention. So I have six proven tips that I want to share with you. And this very first tip that I want to share with you is selecting your niche. Now, if we go to my YouTube channel, selecting your niche is very important, you guys. You want to have a clear vision of what your channel is about, okay? You don't want to be posting uh, on 10 different topics, especially when you're small. If you're a big YouTuber and you've already built up an audience, then you can post on a wide range of different topics. You know, one day you can do a prank and the other day you can do a video about gaming, uh, you know, Call of Duty and your channel just all over the place. But when you're a small YouTube channel, you want to niche down on a specific topic. If you're a chef, make all your videos about food. If you're a comedian, make all your videos about comedy and entertainment. My channel is specifically about entrepreneurship and motivation. So find your passion, find your niche, find out what you want your channel to be about. Uh, you don't want to be all over the place that confuses your audience, especially when you're small. When, now, when you grow hundreds and thousands of visitors, if you want to branch off and do other things, uh, that's completely your business and you're fine to do that. But when you're a small channel, you want to focus on topics that will grow your YouTube channel. All right. So the next tip I want to share with you guys is YouTube banner. When someone hits your channel, you want to have a YouTube banner that explains what your channel is about. As you see in my search history, I got some interesting things. Uh, let's just let's just click on strong quotes. You see Red Frost Motivation. You know that this channel is about motivation. If you click on this, let's check out their banner. Be the hero of your own life story. Your banner, you want your banner to explain exactly what your channel is about. And here's their logo. This is very professional, you guys. If we type in pizza dough recipe. Preppy Kitchen. Your name about what your channel is about has everything to do with it, guys. You want to start optimizing your channel for success. Preppy Kitchen. Natasha's Kitchen. A's Cookbook. All right. So you got your niche locked down. You have a professional banner. Your name should be about what your channel is about. So going into number three, guys, your number three tip for growing your YouTube channel past 500 subscribers and beyond is these plugins, guys. These plugins are crucial for your YouTube, for your YouTube growth, all right? My favorite is TubeBuddy, uh, but another free plugin tool is VidIQ. Now this is what I use for my channel to figure out how to name my videos and what type of tags to put inside my videos, all right? Now TubeBuddy is really, really good, guys. It's crucial. It helps you figure out the titles of your videos and helps them get ranked even better. So let's say if I wanted to uh, name this video, get your first 500 YouTube subscribers. Now what TubeBuddy does is it goes through its algorithm and it lets you know the search volume, the competition, and if this keyword is worth going after. And this is the one that I'm doing for this video. But look at this, this is the unweighed score. And when you click on weighed, 
this gives you the precise overall score for my Pacific channel. All right, and you can tweak this. You just, let's put how to see if this goes up a little bit. How to get your first 500 YouTube subscribers. And just click on explore. And let's see if it jumps up from 77. No, it actually jumped down. So by me naming this video, get your first YouTube uh, subscribers. It has a better chance at ranking and doing better in the search engine, all right? This thing is very, very important. You guys wanna check this out, all right? TubeBuddy is my favorite. I'll leave this down in the link. Um, I think it attaches to Google Chrome and whatever web browser that you're using. But it's very, very important. It gives you a lot of different stuff inside the back office. You guys wanna check this out. As you can see these tags, it helps you find tags you know that you can add to your video that will help them rank better so this is what people are searching for first 500 subscribers 500 subs first 1000 this is what people are searching for so when you learn how to title your videos correctly and put the right tags for your videos using either TubeBuddy or vidIQ that will help you rank your videos better which will get you more views more comments uh, more engagement and definitely more subscribers so the next tip I want to share with you guys is thumbnails. And these things you probably heard of, you guys, they're pretty simple, but you got to learn to master them. I currently make all my thumbnails. I made all my art on my channel uh, with Canva. This is a free tool that a lot of people are using. As you can see, I made these with Canva also. I make all my Pinterest pins with Canva. I make all my Instagram posts with Canva, all my thumbnails. I make everything with Canva, guys. This is free. You just simply go to canva.com. I'll leave links down at the bottom for you guys to check this stuff out. But this stuff matters, guys. This stuff matters and it will grow your channel. You want professional thumbnails so that when people click on the video, if you're not getting clicks on your video, people aren't even watching your video. You want to have enticing thumbnails that make people want to click. Now, you don't want to lie and be over exaggerated. I understand some people do the clickbait. So the very next one we want to move into and number five is you want to start making quality content. Now, I make most of my videos. Actually, I make all my videos with my with my cell phone. Uh, I use my cell phone. I edit my videos in this cool editing program called Filmora. All right, this is where I edit all my videos. So having a software like this is cool. They even have some free ones out there. If you Google, I believe one is Camtasia. I'm not sure exactly, but you want to start making quality content. And last but not least, guys, is you want to stay consistent. You want to stay consistent with uploading videos. You want to upload as many times as you can. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers say upload three times a week. That is the ideal thing to do if you can. Uh, the depending on your schedule, but you want to be consistent. That will definitely help you stay on track and to grow your YouTube channel exponentially and definitely help you get your very first 500 subscribers and beyond. If you made it this far into the video, I'm going to give you a bonus tip. Another thing I do after uploading my video to YouTube is I go to Ping Farm, pingfarm.com, and I syndicate my video through the search engines. All right, this lets the search engines know that my video is live so that the search engines can pick it up. Another thing I do is I syndicate my video across all my social media channels. All right, this stuff works. Save this video to your favorites. I want you guys to implement this stuff. All right, so I hope this video helped you guys out. If this video helped you out, do me a favor, entrepreneur, hit that like button right now. This will get this video out to more people, more small YouTubers that's trying to grow, trying to build their brand, their income, and just their channel. So hit that, so hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Keep learning, keep growing, and I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.